Scorpio. What's up, water babies? How are you doing, babes? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, how are you? I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm my cousin. Little or not, just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? This will this is for my summer rising sign, um, and Venus and cross watchers of Scorpio, all right? This is just a general reading. If you need a personal, all of that information can be found in the description box, okay? Um, I'm sorry that your videos are not going to be as long as everyone else's, okay? Um, Mocha is trying to maneuver to the best of her abilities, but I am totally open for personal readings, okay? Um, that's what I want to say. Oh, thank you for all of my likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. If you have been coming, follow me for a while. Y'all know I reply as well as respond to every single comment, every single email, because I love y'all, okay? And even if I don't have the time, I balance myself. And even if I got to take up, stop what I'm doing for a damn day and make the time, I definitely want to be interactive with everybody because we family, okay? Well, we come here to get tea for tea and fix fix the shit that's going on in our life. We want to grow, all right? I don't like long intros. I'm an Aries. We don't do that shit. So we finna rock. I've already shuffled, but I will shuffle again. Both decks, uh, both the main lay and the clarifying, okay? Again, if you need a personal, have three different types, hit me up. Let's get it. All right? So this is for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross -wise. Scorpio, okay, for mid month June, the end of June 2018. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Scorpios? What information do you need to know? What is going on in your life? What will be going on from mid month June to the end of June 2018? Thank you, Spirit. Scorpio. So it's a lot of stalk but not talk action going on with Scorpios. What are you doing? Who is the person that's doing this, Scorpio? It's very childish, I might say. Okay. Alright, so I do see some of y'all, if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all might have left someone in the cold or cut someone off. Okay, I do see um, possibly because there was a communication issue with this person. Either you didn't know how to talk to this person or you don't know how to talk to this person. And, um, or maybe this will be going on in month June. Like, maybe y'all having a communication issue, all right? And the communication is actually regarding someone juggling, all right? And there being no clarity to the situation, okay? I feel like someone is stalking, but they're not talking if you're dealing with air signs, okay? This could be you or this Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all cut someone off, and I feel like this was in the recent past. It could have been in the last month or the last five weeks, something like to that to that nature. But like some of y'all cut someone off, okay? And I feel like some of y'all are crying over still living with this person because ultimately what you wasn't communicating is that, or what this person wasn't communicating with you, what you're going to be finding out, Scorpio, is that this person actually wants to be with you. This person, whoever you're dealing with, they're coming through as the empress, okay? Or this could be your energy, especially if y'all starting new jobs with the Scorpios having new children for y'all, possibly cutting off someone, a baby mama, a baby father, but then we'll, y'all will be finding out about a pregnancy, okay, mid-month, or this could have already happened. Um, and the pregnancy could have been, okay, this could be an Aries or a Taurus that you're dealing with, all right? I do see that there was a juggling situation. Maybe someone got pregnant in a juggling situation and maybe someone cut you off, but they don't really have the full clarity of the finality of the situation, okay? And I feel like, Scorpio, intuitively, you already know what time it is, okay? I feel like your intuition, a lot of y'all are trusting y'all intuition, but ultimately, for some of y'all, y'all are... I feel like a lot of y'all are actually going into a new cycle, okay? So you're having to end another one with possibly someone who you're juggling, okay? I feel like some of y'all are juggling between air and earth. Strong air emphasis, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and uh, 
Capricorn Taurus, Virgo. Okay, I feel like this is a karmatic cycle, okay? And I feel like there's a, not a lot of clarity that's going to be, well, at this point, uh, at the, at the middle, middle, mid month, right now, you don't have clarity. I feel I can speak for right now and say, right now, we y'all let y'all were just kind of at the core of the whole juggling shit, but y'all don't really have the clarity that you need to move forward. Some of y'all are only dealing with this shit until a baby get here, okay? So that you can get what you need, all right? And I do see that there will be karmic justice that will be served to end this cycle. I see that. But some of y'all are dealing with herb sign. The reason why this person cuts you out or will be cutting you out is because Scorpio, you could, you could possibly be a juggler. Okay, or this person could be juggling, and this could be someone who you have a child, a child with. Some of y'all could have cut off, okay. Some of y'all could have cut off a very great connection, okay, to go back to your karma, okay. And I feel like even in this situation, there's still juggling in your karma. There's still no clarity being given. And I feel like the other person who you cut off is creating. I feel like some of y'all watching this person grow or this could be the other person watching you some of y'all are watching this person flourish and grow and i feel like some of y'all kind of feel like you you feel left out and you want to be a part of that but you're not giving any clarity to the situation and you know in order to move forward with this person this person knows in order to move forward with you to create what it is that you want and this new beginning to go forward and i feel like this is a beautiful beginning that can go forward with someone i feel like this is either an aries or a taurus okay or it could also be um a cancer pisces scorpion of the water sign i feel like this person could be really great for you however there's an issue with this whole juggling ass energy and not talking you somebody want to keep their feelings close to their chest and they finna miss their blessing and i feel like intuitively you or this other person knows it all right Scorpio, some of y'all have a telepathic connection to somebody. This person can have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You can have air in your chart. Definitely you have a telepathic connection. Okay, angels, guys. Most high God, please give me who clarify messages for sun, moon, rising, and moon. Cross watchers with the sign of Scorpio for me and my June. Yeah, some of y'all are getting clarity okay and some of y'all are communicating or getting communication regarding a three-party situation and i feel like it's not the way that you wanted to learn you wanted to find this shit out i feel like intuitively you already you already knew intuitively you if you intuitively knew um that someone either had you in three-party situation or this could be you had somebody else in a three-party situation i feel like someone will be leaving this three-party shit okay especially if you're dealing with an earth sign capricorn towards virgo or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Spirit, please clarify the five. I got three fives in this reading. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so if somebody recently, if you have to cut somebody off or somebody cut you off, I got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Okay, and two different decks in the clarifying deck and the main deck. This is definitely the end of a karmic cycle. I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with a... Gemini Libra Aquarius, but I feel a strong emphasis more so on the Libra. I feel like some of y'all are going to be finding out that y'all got snakes. Y'all got snakes around you. Somebody, I feel like somebody going to find out that your soulmate is really a snake. Like they ain't really for the person you felt like was your soulmate. Some of y'all going to really be finding out through their communication that they really not for you for real. Alright? The Five of Cups. Some of y'all are not trusting your intuition regarding the soulmate and you thinking negative things about this person. I feel like some of y'all think that this person has you in a three-party situation with those in Scorpio, but some of y'all feel like it's your own pride. I feel like it's you in the communication with keeping shit to your chest. And those of you who I'm speaking to with that, you're going to miss your blessing. Okay, because it's time to end the cycle to begin a new one, especially if it's dealing with a family situation. I feel like some of y'all felt left out in the past um, of a family situation. Some of y'all crying over still milk, but there is something of Something regarding, I feel like for some of y'all who have children with a person, maybe y'all not communicating with this person due to, due to prideful matters or petty matters. The two P's, pride and pettiness, destroyers of relationships, friendships, etc. Okay? Everybody want to be petty until somebody get grown on your ass and handle you accordingly. Everybody not going to play with you like that. And maybe this other person, you or the other person, is finding that out in my June. Everybody's not going to take that same old shit. Be the change that you're wanting to receive. How the hell do you want somebody to be faithful if you're a cheater? How the hell do you want somebody to be honest with you if you're a liar? How are you going to be real with somebody else if you can't be real with your damn self? 
And if you're around somebody and you're dealing with somebody and you're seeing the fuckery in their behavior, Scorpio, believe them. Some of y'all are going to be believing them and cutting them out. You're like, you know what? You're walking fucking karma in my life. You got to go. But eat, but eat, but eat, but eat. That's all, folks. That's it. It's a run. That's a wrap. <laughs> Beautiful guys. <laughs> Cut it out. We got to go. And nobody got time for that. All right? So some of y'all going to be making a judgment call. Possibly uh, regarding a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an air sign. Okay? Or it could be an Aries as well. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. So I feel like some of y'all going to be making a judgment call regarding a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo from your past. Who I feel like this person is offering you a beginning, but you don't trust this. You don't trust them or you don't trust their beginning. I feel like during this karmic cycle, during the closing of these events, the divine is calling for you to have strength. Some of y'all are ending karmic cycles with a Leo and walking into new one. Because I feel like if you're dealing with this fire energy, y'all finna start over. And I feel like it's because y'all have children together. Or this could be someone, some type of family dynamic, I feel. The Empress, please clarify the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all have children coming with the Earth sign. Like y'all could have cut this person out with the three party shit. And some of y'all um, possibly will be finding out about an Earth sign. Strong emphasis on Virgo and Taurus, but it could. Yeah, this could be an Aries too. Some of y'all could actually be wanting a new solid beginning that you can actually grow with this person. But I feel strong Earth energy on this, okay? I feel like some of y'all will be finding out about a baby from an Earth sign. I feel like the baby came in the midst of a juggling situation. Some of y'all are making a decision because some of y'all are leaving someone. And some of y'all in the midst of leaving someone, this other person going to want to work it out. And you know that they your karma or whatnot. Excuse me, baby. You know that they your karma or whatnot. Oh, I'm so clumsy. And some of y'all are... Some of y'all are having a tough time making a decision, okay? Do I go with this new soulmate energy because I know that this is we closing up this cycle even though I have a baby with this person we have a baby coming or do I just sit still and I make a decision or do I move forward with my family do what do I do okay somebody's gonna get left out in the cold on Scorpio I'm gonna tell you that right now two of swords to seven of y'all somebody for some of y'all some of y'all are not giving this person clarity or somebody's doing this to you and I feel like they're gonna leave and not give you clarity. Maybe you did this to somebody. Maybe you receiving this call. Maybe you or someone else is receiving this karma because they didn't leave somebody right. So, you know, whatever you dish is what you get, honey. You know, I'm just saying. Five of yeah, some of y'all are stalking someone who possibly you left out in the cold, they left you out in the cold. You don't wanna talk. Well, they don't want to talk, but they want to stop. But communication is going to be coming. And I feel like some of y'all are not resting. Some of y'all are in y'all head about it. Some of y'all really can't do shit. You eat, sleep, drink shit. This person's in thoughts. Okay, by the thoughts. I feel like this is strong air energy, energy, Gemini, Libra, Chris. But somebody's going to be cutting somebody off. And then as soon as they cut somebody off, they're cutting someone off, I feel like, for a new beginning or something that is going to be new in their life, possibly a new baby, a new job. Um, but at this point, Scorpio, everybody can't eat with you. I feel the energy that us around this whole reading is. Look, bitch, I'm trying to start this winner's table or whatever, and I got to figure out who going to have a chair, okay? And you, will you get one or not? Just strongly depends on your behavior. If the fuckery does not, if it, if you want to persist in two part, three party shit, be my guest. You go right ahead. I don't want an invitation, okay? Don't even invite me to the party. In fact, block me. I'm going to block you for sure. So you just make sure it's reciprocated. Let's get this shit understood. Okay? I feel like that's the energy that's going to be me and my June Scorpio be going to be cutting people the fuck off. And it's going to be due to information coming out regarding it's, and I feel like intuitively you already know what time it is. Some of y'all got a hell of a decision to make. Some of y'all have a decision on moving forward with someone who you want to create a family with. And some of y'all have a decision to make on moving forward with your karma. They came out of maybe someone leaving incorrectly in the family dynamic, all right? This is what I have for you for mid-month June. I love you, my Scorpios, my water babies. If you need a personal reading, if it does not resonate, please look at your sun, moon, rising sign as well. I'll wear your sun, moon, and your rising sign and your Venus and see um, if those videos resonate with you more. If you need a personal, hit me up. I'm available. I love you, booze. Peace, love, and hair grease. Ow. <laughs> yes.